Uh, good morning. Day, uh, good lord, three, two? I don't know. I'll check. Uh, there was something not small, um, in the woods last night. Uh, up in the hills behind me. I scared whatever it was off, and about half hour, 45 minutes later, I heard a bunch of screaming and yelling and stuff from the same direction. Um, don't know what it was, don't know if they were the same thing, but... Took me a bit to go to sleep last night because I was worried about uh, whatever not small thing getting to my food. Uh, so, time for breakfast soon. Four miles to take a break at Brockway uh, Summit. And then um, I'll figure something out there. Hopefully there's a little bit of water there so I can just, you know, take my time. Um, I have, I'll have five liters when I leave here. Which is way too much. Um, well, probably enough. Uh, altitude and elevation is doing just great. Uh, I'm actually really uh, pleased with that. Um, that's it for the good morning message. Yay. Oh, also forgot. Uh, this has got to be one of the worst uh, tent placement t pitches I've ever done. The pitch is fine. But uh, you saw the ant hole last night. Um, what I didn't uh, notice when I was setting up the tent was there's a giant, like, six-foot crater um, under the floor of the tent that I had to try to avoid to keep from punching a hole in my floor of my tent into a rock. Um, it was just kind of bad. So far, it survived, so um, yay me. I hate eating breakfast in the morning at camp. It takes so much time. Uh, why can't I just, you know, look at it and, you know, consume it? But, uh, it's all packed up. Got my, I'm sitting in the chair right now. Just for a quick break, before I walk four miles to a break time. <laughs> Going for break to break, jeez. I've got two hours to walk to Rockway Summit, and uh, then I'll take a break. Hopefully there's water there and I can sip away to my heart's content. And I got two, I got four miles per liter. 15.4 miles to a uh, reliable spring, inclined spring. I have five liters, um, which, uh, so that's uh, five liters, 15 miles and overnight. So that's, uh, oh, God damn, I can't do math yet. I can drink every four miles. I can drink a liter every four miles. There, that's what I wanted to say. There's tent from last night. Uh, sorry, ants. Hope you have a better time without me here. And off I go up the trail. Like I said, four miles to break. If I can chug a liter of water there. I'll not have to use my own. Off I go. And this is a successful part of last night and today. Uh, I'm starting out this morning uh, pretty well hydrated. So hope that I can keep that up and not have worries about that. It never really was a problem. It was, uh, wasn't good. Moderately dehydrated was, uh, okay. I'd rather not do it again, but I can. Forgot to say that the, uh, not small thing in the woods last night sounded like it could have been a bear, uh, ripping through a rotten log looking for grubs and things. <sighs> and this morning, Look a road. Uh, I'm starting to maybe feel some overuse injury or overuse uh, issues in my left thigh. I'm starting to feel a little, little overused, but that's still okay. I think. Um, I can, as long as I make to make it to water sometime tomorrow, I think will be fine. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, and another voluntary road walk for about a mile to avoid point three, uh, I think it cuts off like a quick third of a mile. You know, a little bit of elevation gain. Uh, trying to favor my leg a little bit better so I can last longer. Flat is better than up. But to be fair, that was about 500 feet elevation gain in less than a mile. It's not exactly, you know, flat.
Yeah, the road walk is better than this shit for my own, my own 1.3 miles. This uh, yeah, is better for better for me. Well, that was break time. Now I cross this road and go up that hill. 500 feet of elevation gain in about a mile. So it's going to take me a while. Probably about 45 minutes in the sun. Hooray! I don't know how far into this climb I am, uh, but it's kind of going okay. I'm treating the trail like a friend rather than an adversary and going slow, stopping in the shade a lot and uh, trying not to sweat a whole lot. And so far it's working out okay. Good. Uh, I think I can see the top where it gets a little bit flatter. Hooray, take me almost an hour to get up here. 1.1 miles. I don't know what uh, pace that is, but uh, it's not bad. Who in the right mind would take up, climb up this hill for a picnic at the top of it? I'm not even going all the way up there, so no. I am actually headed this direction to Martis Peak Trailhead or someplace that way. Oh, the blessed flatness to it slightly downhill. Oh, yeah. hooray. Taking a break after the climb up that hill, and uh, I think it went okay. Um, took me a little, a little more than an hour to do it, and that's a, that's a good pace. Uh, my legs don't feel overly uh, stressed out. Um, it seemed a little bit better than the uh, climb this 500 foot climb this morning uh, for uh, overworking my left thigh. So, Take it slow, go up the hill slowly, and either the trail is, either I'm hiking the trail better, or um, I did the right amount of training before the hike to strengthen uh, the muscles that need strengthening in my left leg. Oh, and I think I got the altitude thing uh, worked out pretty well. Um, I'm not feeling sort of out of breath or anything like that, so I'm going to push for at least three miles from here, which will get me within seven miles of the spring, and uh, that should get me I got four and a half liters for 10 miles to the spring every two miles I can drink a liter oh this is a meadow okay so somehow I have to find the energy to walk 0.7 miles up uh, actually 0.9 and about 300 feet elevation gain three to 400 feet I have to find that energy and then I can camp anywhere from there for a little while because it's kind of flat once I get up there. Uh, but then there's uh, 8,300 feet and that's a little bit high. So uh, I'll figure something out. I'm sitting and resting, obviously. So uh, trying to get some energy. I ran out of energy about a quarter of a mile ago and just had to sit. Okay, break time's over. I'm pushing on about another mile or so, not because I feel like I want to, but because I feel like I have to for tomorrow's uh, water carry. Water situation, I guess, as you could say. Oh. Next water is 8.1 miles away, and I still have to sleep between now and then. So I want to leave uh, camp tomorrow with about two liters of water. Because I have a little more, a little less than two liters today still. Which should be plenty, you know? But uh, this last mile-ish is going to be the hardest of the day. It'll probably take me a good hour. Well, the 0.7 to get here only took about 20 minutes. Uh, it's amazing what a little bit of water and uh, food can do for you. Uh, about half mile to camp. And uh, I wasn't sure today was going to be successful when it started, but today has turned out to be a successful day. I'm quite happy with the way this has worked out. Okay, so my app says uh, this morning's campsite was 9.3 miles back. 
I think I took about a 0.3 mile shortcut on the road walk, which I think was a good idea. Um, because I get made it up here with no knee pain. I am so thrilled at not having any knee pain. You have no idea. Um, so it makes this trip about nine miles today and some unknown number of feet of elevation gain. I'll get that in a second. Okay, so the app says 2,000 feet of eleva elevation gain hiked and some amount of loss. Um, and I'm about 1,400 feet higher than I was last night. So I'm going with that. Um, I guess it's time for food.